All right, today's video, we're bringing back the old 94 XR 80R, an old Honda dirt bike that I've had sitting in the backyard for a while. My plan is to eventually start a full restoration series on this bike. As you can see, it's in rough shape. This is the bike that I originally learned to ride on. So I'd like to return it to some of its original glory. It will start and run, but for the sake of today's video, because it does take a while, I'm just going to be focusing on one piece, which is the hand grips right here. Like I said, I'm going to do a full video explaining what I'm going to do on restoring this bike a little bit. But one of the first things that's got to go is these hand grips. You can see they're peeling off. These are the original Honda grips right here. It's pretty soft now, the rubber, so not a not great grip. Uh, it's, it's broken on this end, and it's starting to rip off down here too. My theory is that here on the gas, this one's coming off just because, you know, you're using this one a lot more than you're using this one over here. Today, we're putting on these new grips from Issy Auto. You got a lot more gripping area than what you have here on the, on the originals. It's new rubber, feels great. These are pretty inexpensive. So I'm just gonna put these on for now. And while I start doing the test rides and everything to see what is and isn't working on the bike, these would be great to have on instead of these old, old ones right here. Eventually I'll have to take them off again and I'm planning to repaint everything on here. But uh, we're gonna put them on, see how they do, see how they feel. I'm gonna start here on the clutch side. You've got two different sizes when you get these in the mail, one for the gas, one for the clutch. And to start pulling them off, they will come off uh, with some effort. I'm just gonna stick a screwdriver in here and help get these slid off. All right, so I ended up not really needing the screwdriver. But you can see here's the handle right here. But like I said, I'm gonna come and clean this up later. For now, I'm just gonna go ahead and get the new grips on so that I've got something to hold on to while I'm doing some test rides with it. And this is a 22 millimeter bar right here. This hole right here is a little bit smaller, but uh, I'm gonna try to get it wedged on here and pressed on. So like I said, it's a pretty tight fit, but once you get the, that first lip on, then you can just kind of push it and slowly get it worked on. Like I said, this one's in worse shape. I anticipate this one being actually a little bit harder because of this piece right here that it's got to fit over. It's got this big tear right here already. Um, I'm just gonna tear it all the way down and pull it off that way. And a uh, knife or a razor blade to help with that too. All right, now I got this one off. You can see that these Honda grips actually had a lip right in there and that was meant to hold on to a lip that's right here to keep them from sliding off. Before you buy these, notice that this does not have a lip, but I'm gonna try to fit it on here and see how it feels and how it looks anyway. And again with this one, catch it on the bottom and kind of work, work it around to fit it on. Just like that. I decided I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna clean up this surface right here. That's something you should probably do anyway when you're putting on new ones. Instead, I'm gonna come back on the on the clutch side and redo that one. But cleaning the surface helps get off any glue. If there were old grips on here that were glued on, helps get the glue, the dirt. There's there's a lot of stuff on here. And I'm just gonna use the highest grit sandpaper I have, which is 320. Uh, I'd use like 400 or something like that if I had it. But I'm just gonna sand this surface down to get rid of some of that dirt. All right, hopefully this is a little better now. Let me give it another shot. All right, it was better that time around. You can see it's all the way on. Bottomed out right here. Good to go. So overall, it only takes a few minutes to get these on. We've got pretty good grip. It's a brand new surface. I don't have to worry about the gloves slipping off anymore. You'll see this style of, of hand grips a lot. I've seen Pro Taper with something similar, um, and it's pretty good because you've got, no matter where you're holding it, you've got grooves that your fingers can get in, your your hands, your, you know, you've got a good grip on it. And this this seems like a, a pretty good material right here. Part of the reason why this one in particular was tough to get on, when you get these grips, when you get these grips, you've got a 22 millimeter. When you get these two grips, each of these is about 
two millimeters less than the surface they're going on. So this is going on 22. The inside diameter of the grip is about 20. This one is going on a 24 millimeter on the throttle right here, and it's about a 22 millimeter diameter. So I don't, I'm not worried about these coming off at all, but that's probably part of the reason it was a little bit tough to get on here. And that's normal. And like I showed the second time putting this on, it's probably best just to clean the surface a little bit before they go on and get it on there and you should be set. Thanks for watching and check out the link in the description if you want to pick up a pair of these grips from Issy Auto.